Hi, it's John. Now, cars have come on a long way since, well, they keep advancing, don't they? And um, what could be nicer than being in a state-of-the-art car uh, with the air conditioning, if you needed it, um, your know, high-quality music centre, and all sorts of other powers at your fingertips, not least being the power of the car, which can be absolutely phenomenal. Um, and you don't have to be going anywhere in particular, you can just be enjoying driving. You know, this is what a lot of people do nowadays. So they'll go on a holiday and they'll just go on a holiday to drive. Um, and sometimes people just like going out, you know, every day just for a drive. You've got your seat, you can customise your seat nowadays, so it can be easy, more comfortable than an easy chair. And all your requirements are met. Temperature, comfort, uh, music, tinted windows, so the amount of light coming in. Um, you've got your sat-nav, which will tell you whether there's any traffic jams, you can choo choose your route, you know, like a scenic route, um, so, you know, a route where you can see nice things out the window. So it's sort of like, it can be like a sort of bliss. I suppose there was a period of time when they think, you know, Austin Marina and all that, when uh, going out in the car was a bit of a nightmare, but now it can be a sort of bliss and you could spend your whole holiday driving about driving to Spain and then once you get to Spain just drive um, perhaps you've got an open top car and you can let the top down and feel the wind in your hair if you want to hundreds of miles thousands of miles and this perhaps is the ultimate pleasure of, of uh, nowadays um, and driving is advertised in magazines, the pleasures of driving and TV programmes, Top Gear perhaps, and such like. They're selling the driving experience and driving can actually save you. You get the right car and it'll fulfil every need. It'll find the right partner for you. This is what the adverts say, don't they? I recently found out that, uh, well, it was an interview on the telly, but in the 60s, a lot of the art schools were actually focusing their work towards advertising. Just a side, that is. But um, uh, advertisements can say that your car is going to impress your child. And it's going to, your car is going to give you a happy life, a happy family life. I'm not sure whether I uh, I agree with that, or, or, or I don't. Not sure whether I. Um, I personally don't think a car can do much for the family. I mean, when I was a kid, you know, it was the destination which was important, and um, getting there, and then what you did on your holiday. Um, but in, in a way, the, the way that the car has advanced and selling the pleasures of driving, it seems blind to the uh, real issues of, of the world. Um, congestion, for a start. Population. Every, everybody's got to have uh, at least one car, have they? And then in the family, you've got to have enough spaces for a car for every adult member of the family. And surely everybody knows about the link between burning fossil fuel and global warming or climate change. So, uh, uh, and, and a car uses up a tremendous amount of resources. So it seems a bit a bit weird really this advancement of the car and it has advanced and you know they don't smell like they used to I mean you see an old car out or go uh, uh, go get behind an old car on the road like an MGB or a um, Ford Pop 
or something like that, and the smell, the emissions coming from it, you go, oh, wow. But modern cars don't really smell at all, I don't think. So there, there is great advancements of catalytic converters and what, whatsoever. Um, and, and in a way, the advancements have been fueled by uh, scientific discoveries. So science is driving us. And again, there's no question about whether it's right that science should be in the driving seat of, of the direction that humanity is going. Um, it seems, you know, the way that mobile phones have, have, have gone crazy and, and now they become the uh, smartphones and, and everything, it's, it's, it's driving us on, which, which is fair enough. I suppose there are checks, you know, but um, science is leading us on. I mean, Pokemon Go is the latest thing, and they just found out that Pokemon Go is great for getting autistic children out of the house. Um, so it's got lots of benefits, and science has got lots of benefits, and I suppose something's got to drive us on. And, and with, um, with, with the joys of motoring, if people weren't motoring, you've got to consider what else they would be doing, what they would, might be doing in, instead. You know, might they be having huge, great big bonfires down the allotment, um, or um, flying uh, jet planes, or or any number of other things which are detrimental to the environment or detrimental to society. So you have to weigh that against uh, uh, against um, the the what what, uh, what what driving is doing. I mean, I do feel a bit guilty about just driving for the sake of driving, and, and I never do it. I always drive to, for a purpose. I don't just go out for a drive. I go to get the shopping or visit my family. It's got a purpose. And the, the, the way that governments have, have worked so hard to be cutting down on emissions like electrifying the uh, railways, uh, which is a massive task in the UK, uh, and yet, p at a personal level, people aren't really encouraged to cut down on emissions so much. As I say, I don't go out driving for pleasure, and I suppose that's part, partly due to my uh, conscience. You know, because I think just driving about for pleasure would be um bad for the environment and 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 a waste of fuel and money um uh, and, and so conscience does come into it and um then you can think well how does your how is your conscience formed i suppose you know if i had if i had something like a a ferrari i suppose i might you have to go out for pleasure to justify the car because it wouldn't be any good much for putting the shopping in because there wouldn't be enough room and things. And so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of issues in it, um, the pleasures of driving. Anyway, let me know what you think. Right, bye for now.